<laughs> I was expecting to see some big time gangster. Not this. Not Mayor Wallace. I hate this place. I promised myself a long time ago I'd never come back here. This is the kind of place where dreams go to die. Bastards hide their dirty little secrets. And a lot of girls lose their innocence. So why am I here? That's simple. It's a job. I haven't had that many decent paying gigs lately. So I'll take what I can get. Some dame said she'd pay large for my help. I can't argue with that. Message in my office. It's not pretty urgent. Enough to make me drive out to a filthy dive like this. I usually meet clients in my office. I try to never work for a dame, especially without knowing her name first. It's Cartwright. It's Samantha Cartwright. But please, Mr. Sterling, call me Sam. So why all the way out here in this trash heap? What do you want me to do? It's my sister, Mr. Sterling. She's been missing for over a week, and I can't get answers from the police. I heard you were the best private dick around. Don, that was a long time ago. Please, Mr. Sterling. I have no one else to turn to. The police said they would look into it, that I shouldn't worry, that maybe she just left, but she wouldn't just leave without telling me. Something bad had to have happened to her. Damn. I'm a sucker for a pretty mug and a sad story. All right, I'll do it. Just sit tight and I'll let you know as soon as I get some information. Mrs. Sterling. It's nice to finally meet you. I wish the situation were different. But you've really put me in a difficult spot. You really should have just listened to your little friend's advice and stayed out of it. Now, you've got a predicament. This is Mr. Skett. I see you've met Roddy already. He's not the brightest as you may have already guessed. Loyal as a dog, though. It's been two days since I met with Sam, and no word. Maybe she found out what a dirty piece of trash I am. As I live and breathe, Sterling, you son of a bitch. What can I get for you? I'll do all the usual, if you will. Wait on someone. You want a case, sir? Got that look in your eye. Becca. What a woman. Even here in this den of assholes and liquor, still brings a smile to my face. So who you waiting on? Cat named Cardigan. Saw him off the Rock River a while back for being a mobile as well. Back when I was walking beat. She doesn't belong in a town like this. Or in a dive like this. I wish it was the kind of man that could take her away from it all. Give her a better life. But I'm too broke down for a gal like her. She still takes care of me though. I don't know why. Be careful. The guy just walked in the door. Frick? You're a prick. You know it's been two years since I've touched poison. Starting, let's just get this over with. I can't afford to be seen with you. Especially in a place like this. Look, whatever it is that you're into, stop. This is too big, and these people, Way too connected. Forget about it, man. This is way above your pay grade. Look, I know I told you that I, that I could help you, but I can't help you here. Can't even believe I showed up. I'll have a beer. This guy's been following me for the past two days. 
He's been sloppy and easy to make. I figure he's got something to do with all this. Might even know why I haven't heard from Sam. Here we go. Why don't you just send me a letter telling me you're here to kill me? And that gun in your pocket is my ticket to hell. Sorry, Beck. I'll make it up to you. I'm holding my breath out. Jesus. Maybe Cardigan was right for once. I might have got myself in over my head. Killers, conspiracies, and dames. Dames always got trouble attached. Get to the point. Put your game here. I have time for your crap. You're a wise guy, man. As you may have already guessed, Miss Cartwright has been disposed of. You see, her sister and I had a special relationship. And she screwed that all up by getting herself pregnant. Besides, I'm a happily married man. I can't have some low rate chick ruining everything. So I do believe it to be done. Now, poor Samantha. She really should have just kept her nose out of it. She'd be fine sipping a mimosa by her pool right now if she'd just stayed away from it. So you see, this really isn't my fault. A lot of things I can stomach. Killing a dame, that ain't one of them. Killing a kid, sure as hell ain't one of them. Someone have to take you in, Mr. Mayor. Alive or not so alive. your life will be like if you do this. You'll be looking over your shoulder till the day you die. You can't touch me. And no one's gonna believe a washed up hack murderer like you.